uh, hello friends today in this tutorial in this live stream we will be building a PDF document generator inside C hash C sharp language so this is a dotnet application so this will be a windows form application so where we will be generating the PDF document let me show you the demo of the application so you will see if I if you click the button here if you run the application so if I just click yes here you will see this is the application so here you will see your text area so simply you need to just provide any sort of text here so let's suppose I provide hello world and now there is a generate PDF button out there so if I click this button so it will it will have this you can see that now it will have this pop-up window which will appear here and here I can just try to give a file name so I can just go into the folder here wherever I need to I can go into the new folder and then I can say download dash PDF click on save so that will be that file will be saved here if I show you inside our desktop folder and inside new folder we have this file created here you will see download.pdf so if I open this with Google Chrome so now you can see this file is opened here you can see hello world is written here so in this easy way you can just create a PDF document inside C hash application so if you are watching it for the very first time then please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well so if you have any sort of doubt you can also ask in the comment section so we will be building this application and for building this we will be using a special library called as pdf sharp so this is a library pdf sharp If you just search on Google PDF Sharp, this is open source library. It's a specifically .NET library for processing PDF, and this is its official website. So various samples are also there. If you want to generate a PDF document, you can see that. So in this tutorial, we will be looking at a very simple example on how to generate a PDF document. So once again if I click run here again if I click input PDF so that file will be saved you can see now it has created it so if I open this with Google Chrome hello world this is PDF so now to create this application it is very easy we will close this folder here close this project one people is watching the stream guys so in this tutorial we will be building a PDF generator in C sharp using PDF sharp library so let me open Visual Studio 2022 so for this you need to create a new project simply click new project and here you need to simply click uh, Windows form application and then you can just give PDF generator app click on next and click on create so now you will see your C sharp application will be created so if you are joining the stream please hit the like button also subscribe the channel as well so this is the C sharp PDF generator kind of application so in this form we will first of all add some kind of widget here we will add a rich text rich text box widget so this is kind of a text area so you will see that we will cover the entire space here like this after this we will have a simple button so we will search for a button widget so 
so we will change this uh, button text and we will say generate PDF so now the interface is complete now there is a text area and there is a button here which lets you generate the PDF document now basically we need to install two libraries which are very much important for this application so you need to uh, right click on the project and click on manage nugget packages and first of all you need to browse for the library which is pdf sharp this is a library so this library will come here you can see it has got over 11 million downloads so it's a dot net library for processing P pdf so simply click this library and click inst install and click ok so this will install this library so you can see that after that you need to install the second library which is system.text.encoding this is a library you can see it has got over 688 million downloads so simply click it click install click ok so click I accept so now this library will also get installed so after installation just close this window here like this and now you need to click on the simple button here so when we press this button what will happen so inside this function we need to write our code here so whenever when you press the button what will happen so right here inside the constructor we need to write uh, a second line which is system dot text dot encoding and then you need to say we need to call a method which is register provider and inside this you need to say system dot text dot code pages code pages provider dot instance so put a semicolon so this line you need to write here like this so now after this we can just uh, first of all we need to include the library right here at the top here so you need to write some library lines so using pdf sharp and then pdf sharp dot sorry pdf sharp dot drawing so drawing this is a library and thirdly you also need to write pdf sharp dot pdf and also you need to write pdf sharp dot pdf dot input output so that's it so these are the four lines you need to import so right here when we click the button you need to show a file dialog to the user which is save as file dialog so that they can save it as a pdf document so for doing this we will use using and inside this we will say save file dialog save file dialog let me write it once again save file dialog and sfd and this will be equal to new save dialog like this so this will curly brackets to it and inside this we will put a if condition here which is if f sfd dot show dialog is equal to dialog result ok if the ok button is pressed then we need to create a new pdf document so right here what we need to do is that in order to create a new pdf document we will say pdf document 
so we will pass the file name which the user has written inside it so here we don't need to pass here in the next step what we will do is that we will provide the title of the PDF documents the title can be provided like this which is doc.info.title so this will be equal to the title of the PDF documents so here you can provide like this create it with the PDF sharp PDF sharp that's it after providing the title what we can do is that you can add a empty page to the PDF document so guys two people are watching the stream we are building a PDF document generator in C sharp so this is a form kind of application GUI can't if you want to ask any sort of question you can ask it and also like the stream and in order to add a page there is a method which is PDF page page is equal to new PDF page so this will add a new page to the PDF document now we need to draw something on the screen so we will make use of X graphics and this will equal to GFX is equal to and here we will say X graphics and this takes some argument which is uh, from PDF page this has a method inside this from PDF page and here we need to pass the page actual empty page that's it so on this page we need to write something so in order to write something we will make use first of all create a font here so create a font so it is saying that oh sorry this needs to be double quotes so now to create a font guys it is very simple we have a x font x font and inside this we will say font and this will be equal to new x font and uh, here we will provide the font name you can give any font of your choice and then the size we are giving Arial so after giving the font it is very simple we need to draw some text so now to draw the text it is very simple we will make use of gfx dot inside this there is a method out there which is draw string and here we will pass the whatever is it written inside the text area which is rich, rich text box one dot text so we will pass dynamically and then we will pass the actual font which is used so font and then we will pass the x brushes so what is the color color of the so here we will use the black color so you can use any color of your choice you can manipulate it so there is many colors out this but we will use black color so this is the text color and the last argument is the position where you need to place your text in the pdf document so here we will say x rectangle and here we will provide the x and the y coordinate which is 0 comma 0 and then we will say page dot width page dot height and in order to place it in the center of the screen we will put a comma here this needs to be capital in order to place in the center of the screen we will say x string formats dot center x string format sorry this needs to be formats center so this will place it in the center of the screen because we have given center you can also give it as left center left all these positions are there so we are taking at the center position so after this we just need to save this file so we will say simply say save the pdf document in order to save the PDF document, it is very easy. You need to call a simple method which is doc.save. 
and inside this you will provide the file name which is written by the user which is sfd dot file name that's it put a semicolon so this completes your application guys so now if I launch this application by clicking the green button so you will see so this is our application here I can write anything which is uh, hello world and then if I click generate PDF a pop-up window will appear and asking me for the location so I will choose my desktop and then I will choose the new folder and here I will say PDF document dot PDF so it is saying that you cannot draw on a page that is not owned by a PDF document object parameter page so I think we have made a mistake here let me see uh, PDF page oh sorry this needs to be document sorry this needs to be doc dot add page so just make a slight correction here which just need to this needs to be doc dot add page that's it so this was the error so once again click the run button and now you can just say hello world this is PDF click on generate PDF and then say input document dot PDF so the file is saved if you want to open it you will see this is a file here and if I open this in Google Chrome so you will see hello world this is PDF so it is placed right here at the center of the screen so now we can make some slight modification here you can just change the color of the text to let's suppose I want to change to red color red and I will change the position to top top center so once again if you run the application you will say hello world click generate PDF and now this will be red PDF dot PDF so now this will be saved here you can see so you can see it is in red color and it is there at the very top so in this way guys you can just change the text color you can also change the position where the text is placing on the screen using this awesome little C sharp uh, .NET Windows form application where you can generate PDF document using PDF sharp library so this is very very basic example if you want to get all the source code you can go to the video description link I have written a complete blog post explaining you how to do this so I have given the link in the video description this is my blog post if you go to it you will see that all the source code is given alongside with all the instructions so please like the stream and also subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video